we're just a few minutes late. We're kind of late. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I hope you guys are like not mad at me. That'd be horrible. So um, a friend stopped by, which I kind of knew she was coming. I knew she was going to stop over and bring, um, I don't know, Clover's binky, her sun hat, a bunch of different things we left at her house the last time we were there. And I said, well, why don't you just stay and you can taste test and also be my sous chef. Um, my, my, what are they called? Call I keep wanting to say California cauliflower, but they're not, they're not. I don't know where the cauliflower comes from. Hi guys. Hi Steve. Hi Danielle and Janine. Um, the cauliflower street tacos. That's what we're making. Have you ever had anything like this? I have not. Oh. I'm so excited about this. She's so excited and she's also so from Nashville, <laughs> which you're going to find out. What? Sorry. <laughs> She has the most amazing, wait, who are you, right? Like, hello, this is my friend Jennifer. Did I even introduce you? How rude of me. Okay. Okay. So this is Jennifer, and, um, and our kids are soon going to the same school together. And yes, we are drinking our kombucha. Thank you, thank you. We've got our little uh, uh, turmeric. This is the new turmeric recipe by Brew Dr. Kombucha. Thank you for that. Cheers. Mine is happiness. And who is happiness? I know, mine just like says new recipe, but yours has a meaning. It does, yes. All right, so let's get to it. You guys want to learn how to make some cauliflower tacos? Okay, this recipe is Bethany Moda. It's probably showing up backwards. But this is Bethany Moda. Have you heard of her? I have heard of her. Okay, so she's a giant YouTube sensation. She does like everything from um, beauty tutorials on YouTube. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, to recipes and everything. And now she has a new cookbook out. I interviewed her for my Nightline story, and that aired last night, like at 12.30. So I don't know. A lot of people set their DVRs or they just watch online. Right. That's what I do. I can't stay up till 12.30. Oh my God, I'd be a mess. No. So anyway, um, this is what we're making. Doesn't it look really yummy? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so let's see. What are we starting with? We're starting with a half a head of cauliflower. We already like we already chopped this up. We did some prep. We did some prep. And then, do you want to do this? Yes. Do you want to do the honors? I'd be happy to. Oh, I think I need to get you a spoon. Do you have a spoon over there? Or I I do. Oh, you do. Okay, okay. so okay. she's got a spoon. Danielle, when am I ever going to see you again? I hope. I hope that we, like, I don't know. I hope that we get to get the kids together or something. It's summertime. I don't know. Well, thank you. Thank you. Vishu. I'm not familiar with that kind of name, but I like it. He says it looks great. We haven't even gotten started. Okay, so a half of um, head of cauliflower. And then what do we need? What goes into that sauce? Two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to put all this online, you guys. Don't even worry. And one teaspoon of chili powder. Okay, we're going to mix it up, and then we're going to roast the cauliflower. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because, yeah, we had a little, uh, we had some already in the oven because we didn't want you to have to wait. Why should you have to wait, right? So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, hang on. And it's still hot. This is what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Hi, Chrissy. Mm. How are you? Yeah. Mm. I think we got to I got to Mm. Mm-hmm. The thing with roasted vegetables is that they're always better. Oh, absolutely. The flavor, no comparison. Right? Exactly. Okay. Good. I mean, I pretty much roast everything I can. Brussels, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Hi, Jim. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Brussels sprouts. Um, butternut squash, broccoli, you do broccoli a lot. I do broccoli. I do. You know what I love to do is I put um, long green onions and I roast yes. them. Yes. Olive oil, salt, pepper, I roast That's them and I eat them like this. I eat them like, I drop them in. Those three ingredients. God, they're so Super good. Super simple. So good. So much flavor. Okay, is that ready? Yes. So then all you do is into a, um, put this Pour this onto a, a baking sheet and you line it with tin foil because then there's no cleanup. Hello, we all do that. And pop it into the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want it to look like ours does, like kind of starting to get golden. Golden, right? Yes. And even a little crispy. I, I, I like crispy. Yeah, I like it crispy. Hi, Chrissy. Oh my gosh. I know it's been a while since you've popped in, but I'm glad you're doing that today. Is it because it's summer and now you have a little bit more free time or what? Hmm? 
Um, okay, so this is gonna go onto the baking sheet, okay? And it's gonna end up looking like where I just showed you that I guess it's not too hot anymore. Do you wanna taste one? Have a little, little one. Oh, a little. You aren't kidding. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Okay. So we're on the right track. Cauliflower, we are setting aside. Check. Next up, we're making the slaw. Okay. Do you want to start getting that ready? I will. Okay. I will. So this is easy. You're going to use like, um, what was it? A half a cup or two cups? Oh, it says two cups of purple slaw. But both of us, we're not as crazy about the purple. Not so much about the purple. Because it's kind of chewy and it's not, it doesn't taste as good. So we did a little it's a mix. Tougher texture. So. It's too tough for us. We don't. Mm, we're not liking that. <laughs> so we're doing like the green um, cabbage. Did I call that cauliflower before? Purple cauliflower. I, I don't know what I said. I don't know what you said. But yeah, I don't know it what is I said. Cabbage. Usually when the two of us are together, there's a cocktail involved. <laughs> I swear, there's there's no cocktail yet. It's a little little early for that. You know what I mean? Oh, hello, Lulu. Yes. Oh, you're gonna have it for dinner tonight. <gasps> yeah. Now don't just say you're gonna do it and then don't do it. If you do it, you better post me a picture. I need to see this. Cause it's gotta look Do we wanna do the whole thing? Uh, oh, no, I don't think so. so. And I would say okay. more green more than green. purple. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little sauce to this. Remember, this is Bethany Moda's recipe. We're trying it out and I think it's gonna be delicious. Cause all the ingredients are good. So remember to only ever use the fresh lime. Okay, we don't wanna use the imitation. No, no, we really don't. So this is um, a quarter of a cup of lime juice that she's pouring in there. No shortcuts. No, lime juice. What else is in there? We've got vinegar. No, vinegar. Vinegar would be a cider vinegar. <laughs> and I'm going to patent that, so don't even think about it. Okay? Vinegar is all about me, and not you. Agave. Oh, yeah, sorry. So what is it called? Agave. Uh, wait, no, agave, yes, but wait. Apple cider <laughs> vinegar. Oh, my God. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> I did a story for GMA the other day, and it was all about the cold brew. I saw that. I'm gonna try that. Do you want to try it? I have some. I, I want to try some. Yeah. We're, we're oh. Right. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna get her a little sipper of the cold brew. Hang on a second. This stuff just keeps getting better every day. So hang on. I'll give you a little cup. You're gonna be so over caffeinated by the time you get here. <laughs> You're gonna be like shaking. Okay. Hang on. I wonder what you're gonna think. Have you had cold brew before? I have not. I haven't even heard of it. I'm so not hip to all the new coffee drinks out there. Okay. Here we come. That's why I rely on you too. Oh, that was a good plug. Keep me, keep me. Okay. okay. Let's see if she likes it. So this was that. Um, this was the cold brew that I made the other day for you guys. I've been sipping on it, loving it. Here we go. Even though my favorite is a hot cup. Right. I hope. I hope you like it. Let's see what she thinks. Bad. Really? Not bad. I would say a, a, an acquired taste. Acquired taste. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, okay. do, do you think it's, do you think it lost the bitterness? Because that's what it's supposed to do. I, I, it doesn't taste bitter to me. Yeah. See, I actually, as a coffee drinker, I like that bitterness. So when it wasn't there, I kind of was like, I don't know if I am loving this or not. I don't know. You like the bite. I like the bite. Yes. Okay. So that's ready to go. And I will give them, I will give them a little, mmm. It smells so good. Oh, you know what? A little salt and pepper. Oh, yeah, a little salt and pepper. And then what we wanted to do live with you is the avocado cream. This shirt keeps doing the like fall back thing. Oh my God, you know what my hair reminds me of when I sweep it over to one side? Do you watch the, the Americans? You know I'm not, I'm not as hip to all oh, of Oh, okay, she's not, <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Okay, remember, you know, on the Americans. What's her what's her name? Who I love so much she put puts her hair onto one side. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? You know, what's her face from the Amer from Americans? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, so it's fine. Okay, we're gonna cut one avocado. Okay. Okay, i I cut this all crazy looking, but that's fine. No one cares. No. No one cares, and that's the thing. I don't want dress to be so perfect all the time. Look at how crazy this looks. I don't care, do you no, care? I do not care. I could care less, actually. I only care about how it tastes. If Calvin heard me say I don't care, he'd be like, you're saying a bad word. That's a bad word. You know, they're smart. They know these things. Okay, so we have this. And we're going to blend this up. So right now what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm making the avocado cream. And Chrissy is saying she's never seen it. But you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You know, I just think, nice. I know. Everyone is... 
I swear the people who show up. You have the best audience. It really is. The best fans. So, um, here we go. I wanted to tell you how Jen and I met. Oh, no. I know. We met on Halloween. <laughs> Isn't that like the best way to start any story? It was Halloween night. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we met and I did not unfun party. It was so much it fun. It was a lot of fun. It was can you tell them um I didn't know anybody except the host. Okay, so we walked in, my husband and I walked in, and it was my husband's fault. He said, Oh, hi Kelly, how's it going? My friends in New York. Oh. What's up? Hi. Um so my husband and I walked into this party and we <laughs> We look ridiculous, like embarrassingly. Like it was funny. He says, "Why don't you be the guy from My Pillow, Mike Lindell?" And I was like, "I don't really know." And I had to Google him because I only heard him on the radio. But I Googled him. And I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty funny." And I said, "Why don't you be the 1-800 Empire Carpet Guy?" And he's like, "Yeah." So we thought it was hilarious. Like we were dying laughing. We thought we were so smart and funny. We walk into this party and literally it was like crickets. And now, people now were like, "Great." Right. Well, who, first of all, who are these people? Like, they're in the wrong place, clearly, because we didn't know anybody. And then, and then we, we, and then we, we, we figured talking. out, we, you had talk actually, we figured out we had actually met um, via email, um, Abby and her family of prospective uh, parents at our school. So anyway, long story short, we were fast friends uh, within, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes of meeting and pretty much 10 minutes pretty much 10 minutes oh my god it was so much fun it was great it was i just great. love a good party i do too especially a costume party yes there are not enough aren't you going to tell people who you were i what <laughs> who i intended to be or <laughs> I kind of, I kind of looked like Kid Rock, but I really oh meant God, to I thought you were Kid Rock. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Costume fail. Oh my God! No! <laughs> By the end of the night, we both had our. Well, I was wearing like a, a guy mustache. wig on. It was. I had a mustache, had a and mustache. I couldn't laugh about anything because the mustache kept popping off. So I was like super serious, and people were like, "What is going on?" Anyway, okay, so. Um, Again, we have one avocado going in here. We have about a, we have we should probably add a little bit more um, lime juice, but it's it's fine for now. It's fine for now. We're gonna add a little bit of cumin and a little bit of salt. So here's the where's the cumin? Here's the cumin. And let's just add a little bit of the cumin. Okay, a little bit of salt. Oopsie. Now, do you like corn tortillas? I got I, the white. I love any kind. Okay, I, but I, I know, I know, I do like. Okay, good. And I think we should heat them. Do you think on a... Just, heat? yeah, just okay. like warm. Okay, bit. so we're going to warm that. But first, what we're going to do is this. We have some more people. Hi, Christina. How are you? And that's it for this. This is easy. Now, if it was just for me, I would add a little squirt of sriracha. Right. But we're not going to do that because I, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want it to be too hot. Right. Do you, do you like it? I do like some heat. I like some heat. Let's see, let's get this down. She did the famous unicorn cupcake. Hello. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. That was. It was a good. It's fun good to have such show. like talented friends. Yeah. Well, I mean, you always need a big yes. in a group. Yes. Don't you she agree? Is excellent. I know. I mean, no one else is doing stuff like her. Yeah. In my opinion. So okay, I'm gonna give this one more little thing. I think we should start building these. Okay. Okay. Do you want to grab the tacos? They're over there, like sure. on the frying. Yeah. Okay, one more. One more, one more. I know, I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna get plates.
let's build our own, okay? Okay. So well, here is, you said these are the warm ones? These are the warm ones, yeah. Here's the warm ones. It's not that warm. As well. It's well. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, here's mine. I'm going to just kind of use my hands. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Here you go. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now we are going to do the toppings. Let's put some of our little... Ooh, this is a big piece. I'm gonna. Mm. Oh my god, great flavor. flavor. Great flavor. Mmm. 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 Oh, really good. Really, really good. Okay. Okay. There's that. Mmm. The avocado cream. Mm. Nice. Your spoon. I, I do. Okay. Got a little. Mm hmm. I have. Purple cabbage <laughs> between my teeth. What we what we did make our napkins. Warm. So, yeah. And then why don't you top it with some cilantro? Yeah, go ahead and top it with some napkins. Do you want cilantro? Yes. Mmm. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Boom, boom, boom. That looks so good. Oh, I'm putting jalapenos on mine. Do you want them on yours or no? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, my hands are crazy. Oh my god, I'm so okay. hungry. I'm kind of like freaking out. Okay, come on over here. Come over here. Bring out plate. Mm hmm Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Did you guys take a look? Oh my perfect for a party. Yes. Okay. Perfect for just the kids. Do you think the kids, it's a little, probably a little bit on the spicy side? I think I wouldn't tell them it's cauliflower. Okay. So you like to lie to your kids? And just, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I do the same thing. It's like, they can't know. If they don't them. know, they'll be more likely to try it. Okay. All right. Let's so see. let's give this a shot. Oh my God, I'm so excited. A cauliflower street taco. Let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor. Mm. I think my kids would actually eat this. You do? I do. Mm. Oh my God. You guys. And healthy. Yes. Every single thing that we put in this taco is like crazy healthy. Even the taco. Who cares? You know? Right. This is really, really good, you guys. I am. Hang on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I want the same thing again. I wouldn't eat them. This is excellent. Mm. I'm gonna be buying her book. I, yeah. I need this recipe. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Okay. Well, we're sitting here being so rude. You guys, you need to bake this. I think you guys should they'll love it. They will. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna post the recipe. I will also post a link to Bethany's book so you can check out other recipes. She has a few recipes in there, not so cool DIY, and it's a real motivational book. It's called Make Your Mind Up. Very cute. Yes. And I love it. Yes. Um, and she's only 21. It's like, wow, what were you doing when you were 21? I don't even want to know. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. not doing uh -uh. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we have kids sneaking in the background. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Say hi to the world. Hi. Hello, world. <laughs> All right, guys, everyone, please um, invite your friends to watch this, share the video, and press that like button that's up at the top of the screen, the like, the follow button. Did you do that? I did. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. I love it. She did. She's just playing crazy. Okay, say hi, Calvin. Say hi to everybody. Say bye. No, it's my ball, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have Bye. a wonderful day. We'll see you in a couple Bye. days. Bye. Bye. Bye.